remember when you decided to open your own agency. Single mom, starting from scratch. Now look at you. Single mom, starting from scratch. Hardly. You've built something special here. A real asset. You'll find your investors. For months now, that's been my mantra. But it's not going to happen, Joan, unless I start begging my friends. I can genuflect on request. <sighs> Hillary, if I could, I would, but I can't. Steve and I are getting divorced. Joan, I am so sorry. What about the divorce? The best thing that could happen to both of us. What you should be sorry about is my damn free nuptial agreement. If it wasn't for that, you'd have the investor you need. Even when it is for the best, I know from experience how painful a divorce could be. The only saving grace is that time will heal. Enough for you to ask your ex for the money? Sure. In a millennia. <laughs> Come on. Jack's perfect. He's rich. He never got over you. You never pissed him off by getting involved with a male prostitute? You didn't. Vini, vidi, vici. I saw, I conquered, I had the time of my life. Stop! I mean, you're joking, right? <laughs> you're not joking. Bill! like running a car. You take the make, the model, you get the basic package, and after that, it's pay as you go. I can't help you with your problem, Hillary, but I can put you in touch with a man who can take your mind off it. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, I mean, I'm desperate, but uh, not that desperate. Jack was right. Maybe I always do put business ahead of pleasure. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no maybe about it. Would you stop beating yourself up? As I recall, hard work is a virtue, not a vice. Where is the virtue in putting your company ahead of your husband, ahead of your son? And for what? <laughs> a great retirement plan with no one to retire with? When Jack offered to come back into your life, were you at all tempted? Hmm. Not in the least. I mean, He's handsome, sensitive, wealthy, and the father of my son. Would make far too much sense. <laughs> and it would bring far too much baggage. I wasn't suggesting that you get remarried, just reacquainted. You saying you've never even thought about it? Of course I have. Nights with Jack would be warm, intense. The mornings after it would be hell. The man wants Donna Reed, not Donna Karen. And what do you want? An angel. You saved my company. I know what you want for the agency. I'm asking you what you want for yourself. A little peace and quiet. And for a change, someone to take care of me. The man I said could take your mind off your troubles? Would you like me to give him a call? I'm retiring from the business. I never was comfortable with it. Good. I'm not comfortable sharing you with other women. Look, Joan, the whole... My husband moved out of the house. It's all mine now. Come over tonight. I have a surprise for you. I don't think it's a good idea. Yes, it is. This surprise will knock your socks off. Hopefully more. It's your future, Ed. We won't regret it. I'm glad you came. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought I'd... Shh. Not another word. Until you see your surprise.
will give me something to look forward to. Hey, gorgeous. Hey. <laughs> Still on for tonight? Mm, I wish. But my soon-to-be ex scheduled a meeting to discuss the terms of our divorce. So you had a prenuptial? Oh, we do. I guess he just wants to tell me about what I won't be getting. I'm sorry. Oh, if all I get out of 20 years of marriage is a one-bedroom rental and the clothes on my back, I'll be a happy woman. Sounds like you and your ex are going to be having a short meeting. <laughs> well, why should I fight him for what he's got when all I want is standing right here in front of me? Hmm. <laughs> Is it true what Bob said? Did you agree never to see me again? Yes. Oh. You son of a bitch. How dare you put a price on our love? It's a million dollars, Joan. You're better That's my choice to make, not yours. I love you. But enough to ask you to make that kind of sacrifice? I can't say yes. So I have to say no. A few months, a year, you'll find someone else. And then you'll have love and money. But I want you. I'm sorry. Well, I won't do it. I, I won't take his money. You've got to. Turning him down won't win me back. I'll only feel worse. So that's it? We start with me giving money to you and end with you giving money to me. I've been on a take and then as long as I can remember. Maybe this is my chance to give back. Who would have thought she'd turn out to be so decent? For that, you got yourself to blame. Before I met you, I wasn't. 